Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. I'm playing a EIK WM France deck G456 game with Luxor, Koyuran, and Keith. Um, let's look at this first pile. Um, I see Deck Collector. Deck Collector is an effect fantastic card um, yeah I think visiting quarryman is really good especially with cards like politician prosecutor there's some like cool stuff that can be done done here for sure uh, but I mean there's no reason not to take that collector it can guarantee myself plow so in round four round 14 which can be huge for some strategies also renovation um, I see village elder here there is something where I could like take visiting quarryman to keeping village elder in mind but you know what I might get a card like prosecutor back and prosecutor with like a pretty farm could be pretty strong like or politician yeah or even if I played village elder myself uh, looking at our next pile Uh, Sugar Daddy looks pretty cool, especially because we see Master Fencer as well. Um, would I want to play that if I didn't have both of them? I'm not so sure about that. Hmm. There's also Photographer here. Um, if you get three Family Gross and two um, Renovations, it's a five point bonus card. Now, the issue with that is you have to play it early on and it doesn't do anything. So compare it to a card like Tudor, it's probably on like relatively similar power level. Um, I think I take Sugar Daddy here uh, and hopefully I get some early Stone Reno cards. Uh, I like Fiddler quite a bit. I think it's a cool card, but I think Probably Gardening Enthusiast is the pick. Uh, now if I can get to a Reno with Sugar Daddy and then I play Gardening Enthusiast, it can get me like two grain and a vegetable, or a ve grain and two vegetables, and then sow them with my Deck Collector Plow So, uh, Yeah, uh, Fiddler is, ki is pretty interesting as well, but uh, I think Gardening Enthusiast is quite a nice card. There, I could take Fencer here, knowing that the Master Fencer is out there. Uh, that's an interesting option, but I think just Guarding Enthusiast. Whoa! Here are where the good cards are. Uh, Remodeler, Baker's Servant, Hedge Keeper, Thatcher's Helper, Stone Sculptor. All those cards are quite nice. Um, I think I'm not taking Thatcher's Helper here. Um, stone Sculptor kind of goes against Sugar Daddy because you're using your early stone, slowing down your renovations. Baker's Servant is a fantastic card, really fantastic card. Uh, maybe Gardening Enthusiast, Sugar Daddy taking, I could use it like um, Lunch Lady, School Lunch Lady, and get crops with it, or get grain with it, and then plow with. Uh, when I bake those grain. Now if I would taken Stone Sculptor, I could actually consider a Stone Buyer game. Not that Stone Buyer is strong, but just that it might actually be worth it to get the couple extra stone. Um, I wouldn't mind an early game occupation, so something like Boyer, just get passive income throughout the game could be alright. Uh, prosecutor, if I think people are going to be renovating very aggressively, Prosecutor can save me on the expensive ovens that I want to play. Uh, I think Zipper Maker can be a pretty cool card. Um, yeah, and there are a couple different ways. Like, Boyer is like a stage one card. Prosecutor is sort of a stage one card. And Zipper Maker is like a bit more flexible. Um... I 
I'm not sure actually what I should be taking here. What's the expected income from Boyer? Um, it's probably pretty good actually. Although it's inconsistent. But you know what? I think I might have a game where I don't mind the relatively inconsistency of the income. Like getting an occasional food and wood seems pretty nice. Like if I get two wood out of this card before I fence, I'm pretty happy. And then I should get like four food and like maybe two stone. I might not have a use for the stone at the end of the game, but... Uh, I actually like, I think Animal Tamer's Apprentice is a really cool card. Um, goes with, like, if I wanted to get an early fireplace. Especially if you, like, build an early room and you can get a sheep every round for a while. Problem with that is if you're doing that, means you're not family growthing. Um, I think I take Thatcher here. Thatcher's a fine card. And uh, Tanner. So I could use Sugar Daddy to get cattle and then dump the cattle onto Tanner. Okay, uh, well. What do we have here? Paper oven. Pay one reed to use the paper oven. So a grain and a reed into six food. Um, not bad. Uh, well, it's not great. I guess it's cheap is the nice thing about it. What does retrenching do? Once during the game, whenever you plow, return a wood room, plow an extra field, receive a crop, and sow it. Huh. That actually sounds kind of interesting. It's a way for me to get extra grain, which I could then use to, to bake. Um, I mean, a card like Treasure Map is strong. Treasure Map is a strong card. Uh, the issue with it is the four minor approved for occupations. It's going to be a really late... It would come really late in the game for me. For me, it's bit paper oven retrenching. Pole barns is nice too. I could pole barns here. Uh, I'm really intrigued by this pole b uh, retrenching card. I'm very intrigued by it. Yeah. So I like I can play gardening enthusiast and then retrenching, and then plow one field. Uh, return a wood room, get the second field, and sow my grain and vegetable right away. That's how that can work. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to take crop crib, which is like <laughs> the antithesis of retrenching. Uh, this looks like an excellent planter box game, though. Uh, Plowman's Lunch, well, it's just Baker's Servant, but you have to pay for it. So there's actually, plowing should be very easy in this game, with all the ways to get cheap plowing that we've seen. Sapling is fine, Black Swan Lake is good, Drain Pond is fine, Dove Coat is fine. Uh, Drain Pond actually could power my, I, I could set up the combo Gardening Enthusiast Retrenching Drain Pond. But I think Planter Box is going to be like quite a bit stronger. Yeah, I think Planter Box is just going to be really good. And then, okay, here we go. So there's Farm School and Writing Desk. So I, I think Greenhouse is good as well. But at Farm School, considering the combo I can set up, where I Retrench and Gardening Enthusiast, Plus farm school, that would then let me play all my occupations, my, the rest of my occupations. So like my first two occupations would be like probably boy or gardening enthusiast. And then the rest of them can be played off of farm school. After I've grown. Thatcher, maybe. Boyer, yeah, maybe Thatcher over a Boyer. It'll depend on how much read I get in stage one. 
And then writing desk is cool as well, but I think farm school just does exactly what I want it to do. Um, okay. Uh, what does clay worker shop do? One wood plus one clay to four food. At the end of the game, you get uh, three bonus points for five pairs of one wood and one clay. Um, too expensive. It's a minor improvement, but it's too expensive. Um, like the bonus points at the end of the game. I don't think it gives enough points for what it does. Uh, backyard well. I like backyard well a lot. My issue with it in this game is with planter box. It has to go beside your... Um, beside your... Um, your house and uh, I want to be planting fields beside my house although maybe I could do that anyways I'm also looking at stone cart stone cart will help me to reno a bit faster um, uh, you know what I think stone cart reno and ovens both of those are things that I want to do getting stone will be pretty good uh, yeah I think paper ovens a bit too expensive like that's a lot of read that you have to pay so this looks to me like a probiotic food game or pick whether I use the use it or not remains to be seen but it can certainly enable some really early renovating uh, so this 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 pick is actually like pretty interesting. Um, sapling. Like if I'm pretty sure that I don't want to take uh, like I could play sapling on family growth, although I have planter box, I have farm school, I have retrenching. Yeah, my like sapling is an amazing, pretty good. Well, I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if it's a good round one play. Because the issue with sapling round one is you don't get the f wood until like you've lost out on the chance to build the f to do the first family growth, like you've just lost that chance altogether. Um, I could drain pond because drain pond goes with my like it it enables my retrenching because it's yeah plowing one field. The timing is an issue. I would have to make sure I get my family growth done before the drain pond came in, but that would be an option. Uh, wild greens, sapling. Wild greens is fine. Getting a food, like if I think I'm gonna sow a bunch, it seems fine. Yeah, I'll take drain pond. And then this pick is well, Sugar Daddy can get me a random boar to turn into food, but usually unwanted goods is better. Pretty sure I'm not going to build a cooking hearth, which actually is a point in favor of wild game, because it lets me convert a one boar. Unwanted goods is usually quite strong. All right, let's play 14 cards. Or 13 and throw away one. About 14 and throw away a passing minor. <laughs> um, sheep in round one. Good thing to be aware of. Clear ran with Fiddler. Yeah, I like Fiddler. It's a cool card. And occupation came to me, so I will play. Seeing round one sheep, I will play Boyer. And Thatcher may or may not get played uh, before the first room. If it doesn't get pay played before the first room, but I play it as my first farm school occupation. That seems fine, because then it'll save me on my renovation up. And then I would then play Sugar Daddy, and then I could play the other cards at the end of the game. Although the timing on that's going to be weird, because like, I'm probably not getting Farm School working until here. 
So then Thatcher, Sugar Daddy, it's going to be too late for like Deck Collector and stuff. So if I could get it working by here, that would be best case. Play Thatcher for the round 7 Harvest. But that would be difficult to do for sure. Um, two wood seems fine. Big Kuyu Ren, Plow Field. Sure. Luxor plays Working Gloves. Not the best, but it's a fine. Uh... Did I show Fiddler? Sorry, here's Fiddler. I played Boyer. Bo Boyer. I think it's Boyer, this is a quick way. Let's look it up. Craftsman who makes bows. Where's the Google make how do you say it? Where's the Boya. Bo bo boya. Google normally has the pronunciation guide right in it. I also don't have the thing that I can click on to hear it. Normally I have that. Oh well, not important. So we got working gloves, Kui Ren plowing another field. That's weird. Uh, three wood or an occupation. I think I play an occupation because it sets up for me to play a miner with my second action. So I will play gardening enthusiast. Just get it out of the way. I definitely want to look at getting good food grabs from traveling players in fishing. Um, it enables my probiotic food, so I could maybe jump in the family growth queue using that. Oh, Kui Ren going for full fiddler. Full fiddler play. It's making the actions for the rest of us way better, which is kind of nice. Uh, what would I do here? Well, wow, Keith took starting player. Wow. Expensive occupation came back. Um, well, I won't play expensive occupation. I think I just day labor here, actually. It's not great, but I think it's acceptable. And let Keith pass me four wood. Because Keith looks like he's going to go for Reedstone food, considering he just played landing net. Nope, Keith took four wood. Okay. And I'll get Reedstone food. And I'll be happy with uh, three wood or um, three food. Any of those four are fine. Actually, you know what? I probably, if only, if both three food are available, I can probably afford to start player and then get Reedstone food again. What would I start player play? Um... I could play Stone Cart, but the problem with Stone Cart is it slows down my uh, my wood room. Luxor plays Undisturbed Pond. So it looks like he wants to get an occupation out, is running out of patience. Um, Field Doctor, looks like, from Kuyuran. Only reason to play like this. Unless he picked up Crop Crib. He might have done both. He might have he might have done both. Crop crib and field doctor. Keith gets the first fireplace. So a cheap occupation or three wood. Definitely three wood. Or fishing or one of the food actions. Hopefully the I can get four food next round. That would be quite nice. 
The four food kind of enables a lot for me. It enables me to play my farm school more aggressively, that kind of thing. Luxor, writing maniac. Okay. So Luxor will definitely take a four food action next round. That would be my... Ah, uh, well, he has working gloves, actually. Okay, so here's a kind of... I guess it's a combo. Uh, working gloves plus writing maniac. It lets you um, pay for the writing maniac with, like, wood or random clay instead of food. Which is nice. Because it's easier to get those. It's easier to get three clay than six food. H I E O. So seven. It maybe field something. Uh, <laughs> I don't need to read into it too much. It's. I did see. I did pass him almost his entire hand. So I should be able to. Thatcher's helper, probably in five. That'd be my guess. Clearan plays land surveyor. Well, that is a card. And gets a wood while doing it. Yeah, he's got to have some payoff, and I assume the payoff is uh, is field doctor. Think about Planter Box. I'm almost okay not playing it and at, um, until after I've gotten my retrenching action done. Because the issue with Planter Box is once you've sown there once, those fields will never be empty for the rest of the game. And probably what I'll want to have happen is I'll want to have them clear out, then have played Planter Box, and then so It's probably the sequence I want. Um, well, I like Reedstone Food. I'm pretty sure Luxor will take Reedstone Food if I don't. Quiran, hard to tell what he'll do. He might activate his Fiddler again, in which case two Reed would come back. Okay, I think we can gamble on two... Do we? I can just build the first room if I read Stone Food here. And I have action priority over everyone. Luxor will take two Reed. So then he'll be able to build round five. So I'd have to start player to build ahead of him. Keith needs wood still, and he'll take the sheep. All right, let's take Reedstone food. And then I can start player something. I could start player unwanted goods or just retrenching. Retrenching would be fine. Yeah, Kuiren does activate the Fiddler again. So yeah, I have to be aware of uh, Field Watch or Field Doctor. So actually, I think I like building the room here. Um, the only issue with building the room is if Kuiren first action start players, then he can second action occupation. Uh, even, yeah. It's possible that we could maybe mess with him a little. Okay, there we go. Keith, Keith start played for me, so I don't have to anymore. Beautiful. Uh, so I can take three wood, uh, which kind of annoys Keith, or I can take four food fishing. Um, I think I take three wood. I need the wood for farm school, although four food fishing is quite nice. Especially for farm, it gets my farm school play done nice and early. Uh, sure, let's let's for food fishing. I don't love passing key start player, but you know, or six wood, but you know what? He just did me a real solid by uh, going on start player there. So photographer here.
for that's the writing maniac card. Uh, build a room uh, up here, sure. Now Kuiren can start player and then second action occupation. If he does that, I can. Uh, there's a chance that Keith plays an occupation and then I could play an occupation as well. Doe Academy says, hey, whoa, early enthusiast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't really have early game, um, I don't really have early game occupations. Plus the guarding enthusiast is going to power my, um, my retrenching and my farm school. So that's why I'm doing that. All right, Keith, not occupation. All right, that's unfortunate. Um... So I can read stone food, gets me my read for um, farm school. Uh, or I could play an occupation, not sure what occupation I would, yeah, no, I don't wanna play an occupation. It sucks, but this is the, the position we were in. So read stone food here seems fine. What is that first talk? It's a uh, boyer, boya, it's a, uh, Gets me passive income throughout the game. Whenever my opponents take uh, animal actions, I get stuff. Luxor plays sapling. I, I guess this is on major minor. So this is a nice start for nice start for Kuiran. He's gotten a couple passive wood. He's got like his uh, food pretty nicely set. But yeah, this is such yeah. This was very obvious that he had field doctor. Also picked up hobby farmer. So for so hobby farmer and field doctor. Very nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have been able to block him out of that, but that happens. Family growth comes here. Keith has still not taken that first sheep action, which is hurting my boya. I want it to get taken more often, not less. Canoe here. So I'll start player and I will play, uh, start player retrenching and then hopefully second action get wood. And then, does that work? First, so first action, take uh, first action start player retrenching second action take wood then round seven first action family growth and then second action plow a field and then I'll feed five plus two for my farm school yep that works and then I can play uh, I can play Thatcher which will help me renovate up to a stone house quickly so that when I play sugar daddy then I can play Sugar Daddy and then um, Deck Collector. Sugar Daddy here, Deck Collector here, and then um, Baker Servant, maybe Tanner, maybe. I might play them in a different order. Uh, sheep taken at five. Yeah. Yeah, the sheep taken forever, for sure. Kind of a pain. I guess there is Harrow as well. Thing is, Harrow doesn't give me the sow action. The sow action is what I really want. Clear on just plowing more and more fields, which is kind of funny. Well, three wood came back, so that's kind of nice. Plus F. These guys might uh, block plow when I play my boya, or when I play my farm school next round. They might say, oh, that's a good combo. But they'd have to block plow with their first action, which doesn't seem like a that strong of a play. So let's hope it comes back.
I guess I should wait for Luxor's occupation, but I don't think it matters. Visiting Hori Man, yeah, it doesn't matter. Good card though. Especially when you can play it without using an auction. Like I can play it. that's where cards like Raiding Maniac are so good. You can just gain actions. Thatcher to save two reads seems bad. Hmm. Well, I guess the way I'm looking at it is it'll let me reno like way faster. Because like if I don't play Thatcher, I'm going to have to do a good read action. And I'm pretty sure Keith is taking three read here with his uh, landing net. Or wait, who had landing net? Yeah, Keith has landing net. Yeah, career action, first action, plowing. Strong play. Strong move. <laughs> uh, whatever, that happens. First action, plow. Strong, strong play. Um, what can I do here? Four wood? Four wood is good. Feed five. I want to get a nice clay action so that I can start renovating and building major improvements. Like Reno Well would be pretty nice. You plowed to have easier easier feeding from I mean how often in round seven, Mariska, how often in round seven do you have first action plow a field? Like sometimes this game is ridiculous. <laughs> like the one time I wanna have plow in round seven there's someone who it's worthwhile for them to first action plow. Like, what a game. What a game. Keith with Silo Builder. Silo Builder is quite a nice card. Does Luxor start playing or family growth in here? Why? You don't need to. Six wood is available. Why do I get a clay from Boyer? No one's uh, gone on Boar yet. Uh, Boar yet. Someone has to actually go on Boar. No, no clay from Boyer. Yeah, Luxor says no one can family growth now. No. So you didn't have to start player greenhouse, but... I mean, getting the greenhouse out in, nine, in round 7 is nice, but yeah, did not have to do that. Oh. Not going for 6 wood. Wow. And Kuyren's first wood action of the game is a six wood action. Not bad. Well, actually, I'm not sure if that's his first six wood. I guess he had to have one before that because Fiddler didn't give him six wood because he did play Canoe and Writing Desk. Actually, it might have given him six wood. I guess Fiddler gives the food in even-numbered rounds, not wood. And Reno's taken already. So that's pretty sad. Um, we will four wood here, I think. Should I four wood and think about building another room? I think I should. With Thatcher. I think it's probably worthwhile.
clay gone to Luxor. Yeah, so that was maybe greedy of me not to take clay there. If I want to reno. Well, I mean, if I play Sugar Daddy in the round 13 harvest and then get two goods out of it total, that's not awful. I can use it to get, like, one boar, one cattle, or key crops that I need, or something like that. It'd be nice to get it out earlier, but... No food here, I think. How am I feeding? I probably get one food from a sheep grab, so I would need four more if I want to play an occup if I want to play an occupation. Reedstone food. I could maybe play joinery. Though I would rather well or stone oven or something. I think reedstone food here is okay. Then maybe I can play the well with my last move. The well, playing the well makes it like way more difficult for me to run out to stone house quickly. But I think I should probably be focusing on getting another room. I think probably getting to my next, getting that fourth room will be uh, strong for me. Also, Keith looks like he's going to build two rooms and then grow next round. So he's actually not going to take sheep, so sheep is available. But I should have done that analysis, and maybe if I had done that, then taking four clay is a lot better. Might not be able to farm school this harvest. Yeah, it might be too expensive. Although it looks like Koyuren's going to take two pairs of animals. One, two, three, four, five. Um, well, Sid, I don't know, because I can't bake until I get, like, more than one, um, until I get more crops. Like, I don't want to bake until I've sown my grain anyways, so I don't, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, if I want to room and grow, then obviously I'm not getting, um, then, then I'm not retrenching this round. But what I could do is I could harrow and then sow and do it that way. But of course that's an extra action. The whole, the whole advantage of retrenching is that you get that sow action really quick. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Retrenching gives you a crop, doesn't it? Yes, it gives you a crop. I totally forgot about that. Oh, man. I totally forgot about retrenching giving me a crop. I'm dumb. Yep. I totally forgot about that. This is my first time playing with it. I totally forgot. Luxor renovator and then renovates to make room. So now he can grow his family and keep this stuck until next round. So, playing Boyer here, or playing uh, Retrenching here seems to make sense. Planter box now before Retrenching would be nice. I actually disagree, uh, because the, I want the planter box, like I want my, um, I want to be able to sow twice on these initial fields. So field, I can get an extra crop and I'll take a grain.
So now I need to get two food. This is where having the clay to build a clay oven would have been good. So I should get something from my boyer here. I think it's a wood. Uh, away from my rooms, yeah. Well, the vegetable will be cleared into harvest, and then I can re-sow with planter box in the last end of the game. Dove coat for clearing. Like I have debt collector, so for me debt collector planter box will be enough to get all my uh, to get all my stuff. Uh, I think you should sow two grain. You want to be baking, also vegetable max with planter box without too much difficulty. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good observation. Keith builds all his stuff, gets his crops. Um, so I need two food. So I'm seriously considering joinery here. I think this game has like a stupid amount of wood in it. So I could maybe play the joinery. So I would read stone food and then reno joinery. Or, and then major minor joinery. I'll do this first. Let's keep track of the income from Boyer. So, um, maybe I'll open a little notepad. One food, one wood, two food, one wood so far. Now Luxor plays his Black Swan Lake, when he actually family grows. And then this move uh, could be three wood, uh, no, what am I saying? It needs to be something that gets me one more food. Okay, so this should be what card? this occupation. I don't think I need to play thatch. I don't think I need to play Thatcher anymore, but I do want to reno up. I don't need to play drain pond. I have Harrow available, so I only actually need, I don't need many more plow actions. So I don't think I need to play drain pond. So two reed is enough to get to a stone house. So then I can play, um, like, even Baker's Servant doesn't seem that good anymore. Like, I could Deck Collector to get the round 13 thing. Maybe I just play Baker's Servant. Yeah, save my Deck Collector. Do it that way, and then feed six, and harvest. So I'm gonna have uh, six food in the next harvest, two from my well, two from my joinery, so hopefully I can bake a grain before then, and then uh, I want to do like a sew bake action maybe. Although to do that I need a bunch of clay. Well, stone oven is available. Yeah, four four clay. Even if I could get if I could get five clay, that would be ideal. Maybe I play probiotic food. That might be an option. Do something like start player, go for probiotic food. Um, Yeah, four clay into start player probiotic food into reno clay oven. Seems okay.
Yeah, I think with uh, planter bots it doesn't matter too much which I which one I sow. It might be, yeah, it might have been a bit better to sow the grain, but I don't think it'll matter too much because just as long as I hit three, um, if I hit three planter box fields, then I'm maxing out my crops, right? Which I'll be able to do for sure because I have a deck collector in hand, so. Keith plays Plowman's Lunch. So this is my baker servant, but it's a miner, although it is... I actually think it's quite a bit more expensive because of the one food plus the the crop cost. That's actually like quite prohibitive. Uh, Reno is available and no one's going to be going for it. So yeah, I think I will do this play. Start player probiotic food. Yeah, there were, it seemed like there were kind of some redundant cards. Like, there's a lot of different stuff in this game that's pushing you down sort of the same path. Clearin's got his farm covered already, which is nice. Although he has no major improvement points, and his house is stuck on two rooms. So he needs to max everything else. Where whereas my game I don't I'm not gonna have as many animal points as him, but I should uh I'll have a good amount of improvement points for it. So that's my advantage. So two clay and a reed, and then another two clay. Make one, and then plow a field. See what Luxor Zock is. Cook. Okay. Nothing too game changing. We'll grab three wood. Wanna get our fencing done as soon as possible. So we're gonna want to sew bake action in round twelve or round thirteen. Uh, which is fine. And we will play Debt Collector with um, Farm School. Get a stone there. And then plus wood. Did I already take the wood? Oh shit, I'm not sure if I typed it on my, put it on my farm or not. No, I started with eight and I went to 11 with my three wood grab, so I should have 12. Yes, I believe that's correct. So now I can fence 15. which I think I'll do with my last action. It'll let me take three food, three sheep in round 12. Oh, Luxor is fencing, okay. That's fine, I'll fence next round. Then I'll probably start player here, I think. Start player hoping for family growth. 
No, oh, Kuri Ryan's star player. Makes sense. Definitely, he really wants family growth even without room. Just so big here. Um, I was thinking about converting a wood. Yeah. I think I'd just take one more wood, two more wood probably. Put a guest out for my uh, farm school. Three stone seems way better than taking two wood. Fence 13 versus 15 is one point. Um, what does the stone let me do? It would let me maybe stone oven or basket maker's workshop. Um, those both require another resource action. Like I think I probably am getting uh, stone from uh, my boyer when cattle gets taken in round 13. So that's how I'm planning on getting my next stone. And uh, it's actually hilarious that Kuyuren has bread machine. Bread machine, plowman's lunch, and baker's servant all in separate hands, which is crazy. Uh, Doe Academy says, I thought three stone was interesting considering I could rent a stone oven. Uh, I will play Sugar Daddy, but I'm not going to do it until after, like I'm get, probably going to reno in round 13 is my plan. Playing deck collector no matter what because it has to be played here. And uh, I will plot. I will start player planter box with this action. My first action if start players available. It is family growth. That's really good for Kuyuren. Really good for Kuyuren. That's a problem for us. We'll see what Keith does here. If Keith start players, it's not awful. But I would, I would, I'll start player. I want family growth as well. Start player planter box, and then so bake, and then fence will be my three actions this round. I guess I could have unwanted goods to get a stone, but I'm pretty sure I'm just getting the stone off of the two cattle grab. So my round 13 will be something like family growth, reno plus unwanted goods or something. Oh, no baking improvement. That's a good point. Good observation, Doe Academy. You're right. Yep. You're right. Absolutely right. He says, oops. Apparently Keith hated all of his occupations. Only played one so far.
So I'm gonna bake a grain here, and I'll sow one beside my house, and I'll sow um, a vegetable not beside my house, I think. And plow sow I'll leave for the, la the last space down here, I'll leave for plow sow. So like cover these five spaces and then 15 pastures. Saying yes, he'll take two food day labor instead. It's okay. It would be nice if I could take the two cattle myself, but uh, it will survive. Keith might plow so here, or he might, sorry, so bake, not plow so. If he does, it's a little sad, and the fact that he's taking a long time doing this turn tells me Nope, he didn't. He just reads no food. Okay. Well, I will happily sow bake. So one. So I bake first. Sorry, I should be more clear. Bake first. One, two, three, four, five. And then sow. And sow. And I'll sow like that. Because why not? Leave extra room for grain if I need to. Planters boxes, two for grain, one for vegetable. Yeah. Yes, it does. Boxer plays donkey. Nice card. It'll let him hit, get three, actually lets him get, th get three fields with one action since Harrow is in the game. Which is handy. Hero Boyer. No, it's gotten me more than this. Okay, it's gotten me two wood so far. It's got, so sheep was taken here and then here. Sorry, sheep was taken here and then here and then here. It's gotten me three food and two wood so far. And one stone. Two stone now. Beautiful. Uh, so what Doe Do Academy, so what he's saying, so Keith, uh, so Koryuren played Straw on Start Player, and then he major minored um, baking improvement at the end of the game. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, uh, he did major minor, and I'm pretty sure if we look at the game log, it'll confirm that. We go up to round 13, Koyuren, last action, bread machine on major minor, yes. So yeah, so that's why he was able to change and it didn't affect the board. Fence 15. I gotta remember that I need to pay back the grain and vegetable, so I actually want to hit uh, 9 and 5 for gardening enthusiast. Um, it is slow and it is inconsistent, but the, the thing is, at the end of the game, it's getting you like a wood and a stone every round. Because cattle and boar are almost always getting taken at two. Um, 
So I think that seems fine. Especially since I did build the joinery, like, I have use for this wood, random wood at the end of the game, like, I don't know, seems okay. Why is pottery on the board? Did someone play an upgrade? Did someone, I think Keith did some, Keith meant to return his two clay fireplace. Yeah, he meant to return the two clay fireplace, yeah. New round. Family growth, most definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's on two clay fireplace, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I might so bake instead of plow so in round 14. That might be a better move for me. So I'll have two grain in, in hand. I'll bake one and sow one. And that'll leave me with nine on my fields. So then I harvest one to return with the guardian enthusiast. So yeah, looks fine. Looks fine. I do need a little bit extra food here though. So like I could consider taking uh, five food traveling players, especially if I think Reno is safe. I'm not sure if Reno is safe or not. Queer Ren. Queer Ren might Reno. So maybe I should Reno just to get it out of the way. So I would Reno play unwanted goods, discarding something to get a wood, because the wood is worth something in the last round. I could maybe unwanted goods get a clay and then think about taking three stone and then building stone oven, but I think that's probably going to be too many actions. Uh, that's probably not going to be worth it. But I will have a couple actions in a row. I do need to remember that. So I get a wood from that two board getting taken. Two sheep, yeah. Two sheep makes a lot of sense as well. The thing is, if I take the two sheep, then I don't, I need food, and I want to play Sugar Daddy here. Yeah, I need the food to p pay for my, uh, for my Sugar Daddy. So let's take five food traveling players. I can eat a wood, but I need to feed nine because I just did a family growth action. I had seven food on my farm. Curry around, start player nothing. And you know what? I needed a food for debt collector as well. Go to stone, unwanted goods, toss, thatcher, get a, so wood is a point, uh, reed actually lets me play drained pond for one point, um, which might be like all I have left at the end of the game, but probably wood is good, plus wood. And then feed seven and a wood for keep your ox toss miners. Ooh, ox can become animals. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, no, you know what? It's too late. Uh, it's a good, that's a great observation, guys. It's too late. I, if I'd come up with myself, I'd ask to take back, but I didn't, so it's 
too late at this point. That's a that's a great that's a great observation. Yeah. Toss stone card. Yeah, that would have been way better. To give me more actions at the end of the game. Yeah, you guys are right. Playing too quick. Playing a little too quick. I should be thinking more about what I'm doing. Part of it's I've never played with Sugar Daddy before. I never played with Boyer. Trying to figure the cards out a little bit. Uh, F on sheep grab. Harvest. Send my farm. So the bake seems a little less important now. Because actually passing Luxor Plowso is like a pretty nice action for him. Because uh, I have six food on my farm. If I eat a wood, that gets me to eight, which is enough to feed my family. But then I would still need two. So I don't know. Maybe so bake is still the right move. Let's take a look at the scores. I don't normally like to do this, but peak. Yeah, Luxor at 38 already. Kuren at 41. Yeah, it's going to be hard for me to beat them. No stone reed left. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I never removed that. Keith plays Basket Maker's Workshop, and Luxor is saying that's unusual that you're not playing an oven, considering that you have uh, the Plowman's Lunch. Seems like that might be more points. Luxor is fencing. Okay, so I don't care so much about passing in Plowso now. Plowso is only really great for Keith. Oh, and I'm not even the star player. What am I thinking? I get first action, but not... Luxor's not after me. It's Koyuren Keith. I have the first and the fourth action, which is actually quite nice in the last round. Yeah, not being able to play Ox to get animals will actually end up being relevant. It'll be a, like one or two points at least. That sucks. I think probably I'm a little too far behind anyway, so that it won't matter in the end. But yeah, Koyuren ended up having quite a nice, nice game. And anytime you can pass pole barns to a person with four wood in their hand in su their supply with no uh, fences, you're always happy with that. Deck collector, so bake. Maybe I should deck collector plow so or deck collector family growth, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Immediately takes family growth. Yeah, we're passing it to someone who's already built four stables. Yeah, you're right. So I am happy with how my um, resources have turned out. Oh, I forgot to play my Auk. Sugar Daddy plus A. And then I'll take a 2.4 action here, I think. Take Sheep. Because I get a wood if somebody else goes on board. Let's 
six wood is great. It's already gone. Keep okay. Four wood. I'll take four wood for sure. Had space? I don't really understand. I only have two animals on my farm. <laughs> Please, stone oven, saving three stone. How do you save three? There's only three other players in the game. Yeah, you can only save two resources. Actually, Prosecutor could have been a 3-plus occupation card. The way it's worded, that if you're 3rd out of 3, I guess maybe it would be too good, because then you can get stone weight earlier than anyone else. But that might be cool. You play Prosecutor in a 3-player game, save on Reed and Stone, which are both highly in demand in those games. Although then you're playing improvements, which is catching you up to your opponents or getting you ahead in terms of played occupation count. So I'm pretty sure Keith is taking cattle. Ah, uh, Keith might plow so, although nobody else really wants plow so. Luxor doesn't mind the so action. It's a couple points for him. So Keith might, uh, oh, so I get a wood on Luxor's boar grab. Huron takes the stone, so probably one cattle's coming to me, and then Keith is taking Plowso. That's what I hope happens. Unless he gambles that Plowso is going to come all the way around. Uh, he's not doing either of those. He takes four wood. Okay. Well, I'll take a cattle because it's uh, a point. The three wood should come back. Should. Yeah. So you know what? I would love to play an occupation here to get my third cattle and then breed to the fourth. And then Tanner would be my um, two boar, my two point boar action. That sucks. I uh, did not did not play this optimally at the end of the game. Great observation, guys. Sugar Daddy can turn your occupations into animals, which is actually relevant. <laughs> uh, oh, well, that happens. So when did we end up getting out of Boyer? Boyer sheep was taken here. Uh, here, here, here. And then I took it. Sheep was taken four times. One, two, three, four. And then I took it for one. Boar was taken here, 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 and here. So I actually got five wood out of it. Is that right? One, two, three, four wood out of and then cattle taken one, two, three times. So I got three stone out of it. Four food, four wood, three stone seems all right. And I'll, you have to have uses for them, of course, at the end of the game, which I uh, didn't necessarily have. But like if you compare this, so I guess the, 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 the disadvantage compared to something like um, charcoal burner of course is that you're not getting very you're not getting wood in stage one and two like you're getting all the wood at the end of the game 
So maybe it's the difference between like wood collector and the um, wood de uh, wood delivery man. Maybe it's the difference there in that the wood is later, so it's like way less valuable. It doesn't help you with that first uh, family growth. like charcoal you can't generate wood food for yourself by building the improvements that's true yeah yeah i'm not i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna try to say that it's comparable it's not it's clearly not but you know there is uh i think it's probably a little undervalued uh do i have an action do i have a point action here i don't think so Take fishing, I guess. I don't know. I don't think there's any points for me to take away from someone else. Maybe food. And feed eight. Two food for Tanner. Get a boar. Turn grain vegetable. So I have something, but not enough. Not enough. Let's look at my score. So I scored 46. It's okay. Not enough to win. Could have had one more point. Um, actually, you know what? I end with four food on my farm, which is exactly the amount. Oh, I could have eaten a wood. I didn't eat a wood. Okay, so yeah, I could have played an occupation for an extra point at the end. Um, clear end hit 54, so I'm not even close to clear end. Just had a monster game, 55. Luxor 51. So yeah, I was not really close. Uh, maybe this strategy was never really that good. I think actually, I think actually, farm school getting blocked in round seven was really brutal. Um, yeah, look at Kuiren's farm. Both of us had stone house, but he had an extra person, and he had way more animals. And he had um, fence stables. Yeah, quite uh, quite strong. With some middling occupations, like Field Doctor is really... I hate Field Doctor, man. Field Doctor is a car that just, like, you get some combos with it and just, like... Because it's such a non-competitive route in terms of the occupations you're doing nobody else wants. Um... But yeah, it's obviously like a great card because people keep doing stuff like this with it. Uh, I was a little unlucky that Family Growth didn't come. Well, I can't say I'm unlucky that Family Growth didn't come round five because it's only a one and three. But that would have been good for me for sure if it had. Um, would have helped me out. But. Yeah, I'll look at my draft, see what the draft, uh, what the power of the cards say. Because maybe if I f get the occupations easier, then I can grow easier or something. Or then I can reno faster, get Sugar Daddy in play earlier. Because if Sugar Daddy's pumping out an animal on every time, every harvest, like that actually would be really good. That would have been really good for me. Because if I'm pumping out an animal every harvest, then they breed, I, I'm getting them to breed faster, you know. My fencing did come kind of late though, because the joinery, building the joinery for sure, and eating a wood every harvest. Let's look at uh, three, three, four, two, four, two. Uh, 
Uh, so first pick, Deck Collector. Visiting Quarryman at power 4.5. Wow. I think it's a cool card, but 4.5. You can see it's almost drafted fourth, so it's very undervalued. Very undervalued card. I took Sugar Daddy over Photographer. I'm actually surprised Photographer is that high. And 3.9 drafted 2.5. It's a little undervalued as well. So I'm probably undervalue, undervaluing it. Sid says, Deck Collector probably should have been on Family Growth. Risking So Baker Plow So was probably okay. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Especially because I was already pretty sure that I was going to run out of actions. So then uh, taking food is okay. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Got a couple extra points there doing that. Um, gardening enthusiast, this pile was quite weak. Baker servant, you know, best card out of this pile looks like. Stone sculptor, 3.6 power 3 3. That's lower than I would have thought. When it came out, it was everyone's pet card because it was pretty good with family growth. It was pretty good with Nur FG. So Boyer power 1.1. So quite a bit weaker than Zipper Maker, which is interesting. Yeah, Photographer is five. It's only five points if you get five family growth actions, right? I think a lot of the time it's going to be four. It's five if it works out perfectly, but yeah, having to use the early action, definitely there's a cost there. Tanner, that's fine. So retrenching, power 3.2, treasure map at 3.9. Treasure map actually didn't get played by anyone. There's a ton of ways to plow in this game. Black Swan Lake, over planter, I took planter box over it. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was right. I'm pretty comfortable with farms, like having retrenching planter box I'm, and guarding enthusiast, I'm very comfortable with the farm school pick here. But uh, yeah. And then I took stone cart over backyard well because I was worried about adjacency for my rooms. Didn't end up playing stone cart. Probiotic food, a similar, probiotic food has a similar effect to stone cart in that it gets you stone early. Green Pond, yeah. Yeah, maybe the strat, maybe the strategy wasn't, wasn't viable. I mean, I, I, I was very, I think it, it's unusual that someone wants plow very highly in round seven. So that was unfortunate. I mean, Kuyuren with his cards in play, it makes sense, but it was just like, oh, it sucks that this was the game that that happened in when I happened to draft what I did. Zipper Maker versus Boyer is all about tempo. Tempo is so valuable, and Zipper gives a ton of it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think at that point I was already thinking that I was going to do a small house, though. And Zipper Maker is, like, way better when you don't have any other way of feeding. And, at like, in the round before a harvest, you, or two rounds before a harvest, you play it. And then you do, like, three resource actions that you wanted to do anyways. like, But you wouldn't have been able to if you didn't get food. Something like that. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, I think that's going to be all for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, I'm going to watch Toronto FC later, so they're in their playoff game. Hopefully, Rooney does some cool stuff. I mean, I want TFC to win, but get to go see Wayne Rooney, which is pretty cool. Um... I will stream, I might stream tomorrow, I'm not sure yet, um, I'm going to be skating a lot tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I'll, I'll stream tomorrow or not, uh, if I don't stream tomorrow, definitely Monday, Monday I'll have a lot of time, so I'll, I'll stream on Monday at some time, um, yeah. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you've gotten all the way, the way to the end, give me a follow on Twitch, and then you, like the lovely people in chat, can uh, make question, ask questions and make comments and point out things that I do that are stupid. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah.
that's going to be all for me. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow or Monday. Bye.